The Attorney General has been ordered by the ECOWAS court to pay an amount of $750,000 to Transparency International for late filing of its defense in the case filed against the Japa deal. Transparency International is asking the regional court to halt the proposed deal jeered at monetizing Ghana's gold and rather allow for further consultation as it alleges that the presence of politically exposed persons in the transaction leaves much to be desired. The regional court, which is citing, uh, sitting here in Accra on Wednesday, March 23rd, heard the case for the first time. The AG's office, however, asked for more time to file its defense. This has nothing to do with the merit of it, but the fact of the case we have taken to court is to show that, first of all, that deal did not follow due process. Secondly, it is not in uh, favor or for the benefit or in the public in interest because um, the SPV set up by the government or proposed to be set up by the government, the company proposed to be set up by the government, has some politically exposed individuals uh, on board. And um, we have approached the court to say if this um, um, deal or The, the, the um, you know what we call commonwealth of the people of Ghana, if they did not have a say as to how the entire process was set up, if they do not have a say on the, um, the sincerity of the government in setting up the entire deal itself, and how this thing is going to favor them at the end of the day, most importantly, if people who are relatives, associates, uh, apologists of the government are the ones who are on the board and they, if they are the ones who have formed this company then it shows that there is uh, there's so much to be probed it shows there's so much to be looked into uh, it gives us an impression that there was no transparency at all in the first place and it gives us also the impression that the people have not been uh, um, informed duly informed as to how this is really going to benefit them uh, surprisingly we filed our papers we served this case is two years old now. We filed in 2020, this is 2022, and uh, they've been served. And uh, it took them time, of course. They filed their own defense out of time. And even the defense, uh, this is again sounding a note of caveat. This is not looking into the merits of the case. That is for the courts to do. But looking at their defense, most of the allegations that we have backed up with facts, with documents, with um, our own position as to the suspicion around uh, the deal, uh, they have not really been debunked. But the most disappointing thing is that after two years, uh, the matter was meant to be, be held in, in Nigeria, but I mean, the court said we should come and sit here. The court is going through its external sittings and it's been here since the uh, 10th of March, I, th I think. Um, they had two years to respond to our reply. We filed a reply to their supposed defense and surprisingly, we got to court after putting in so much expense, so much time, so much energy, so much resources. Uh, they, they told the court that they needed time to respond to our reply. I found that very discomforting because I flew in from the United Kingdom for this matter. Now, if I have to stay back in Ghana, that is an additional expense on my part. And apart from that, it disrupts my event as well because I had my own programs also lined. I practiced in Nigeria and I also worked in the UK. So uh, everything is really, really disrupted right now. But um, we, the court has given them up to Monday, next week Monday, to file their rejoinder, according to them, their rejoinder to our reply. Um, in, the, in the interest of justice and the spirit of natural, natural justice, they've been given time to respond. So we're coming back on Wednesday to argue the case itself. But most importantly, what we are asking for is just a level of transparency, is a level of uh, um, uh, commitment from the government to show that this deal is in the interest of the Ghanaian people. Because if we are talking about the Commonwealth, the only thing Ghana has, or the major thing Ghana has, is the gold, its gold reserve. And if you are setting up an, an entity to begin to sell and to begin to take uh, uh, the proceeds of this reserve without due information to the Ghanaian people, I think this is not in the interest of the public. If the, if the government really wants to be open, there should be a whole lot of consultation. The consultations were never done, which is part of the deal process that should have been done before the deal would even enter uh, into fruition. We're, so, so for. we're not even asking the court to nullify the deal. We're not asking the court to uh, make any pro adverse pronouncement on the deal. We're only saying if this thing is for the people of Ghana, this is just fair for the uh, procedure, for the system, for the processes to be altered. 
and allow due consultation. And that is when people who are represented, the people who the government claims to be uh, doing it for, would have an opportunity to express whatever reservations, whatever concerns they have.